All right, guys, got my boy Chase here. We were just having a discussion. We've caught about eight to 10 fish this morning. We've been out here fishing, beautiful spring morning. And I told him we could definitely start catching some more numbers if we went to something like a yum dinger. I call it the yum dinkster because you catch a ton of small fish with it. So I just went ahead and guaranteed him that we could easily get 20 bass in one hour. He didn't believe it because we've only caught eight bass in two hours so far throwing spinner baits. So we're going to start it off. Let's see what time it is. 740. We're going to go till 840 and see if we can catch 20 bass. This is what I call the Yum Dinkster Challenge. It has officially started. Let's go. Now I need you to hold up your end and catch your 10 now. <laughs> Don't be dragging. <laughs> Crank it. Yes, sir. The Dinkster. Yeah. Dinkster challenge has started. <laughs> there it is, folks. Live and in color, the Dinksters. All right, that's number one. You got it. He followed back up with my miss and got the dink. Number two. Here's one. Dink number one for me. That makes three. That's our total. Settle down, buddy. Total of three right now. Looking right now. Here he is. Got her. <laughs> Got a dinksty. I was excited when I got it off the end of that pier. Here he is. Mm, it's a little bit better than a dink. All right. What does this make? Number five? Number four. Number four. No, I've caught two. How I many have you caught two? guys not really a dink there but hey we'll take it number five target right now we got six in about 17 or 18 minutes we're close here he is all right number seven looking good looking good number seven Got there. Number eight. Oh, I'm gonna count it because it touched the boat. It touched the boat. <laughs> Number it eight. Fine. Count it. Look at the deer. Guys, check that out. Little baby deer. All right, number nine. Time is 8.14, so we're actually 
couple or at least five minutes behind. Got him. Number 10. He's pulling them out of the thick stuff. His wind isn't helping us out, guys, but we're going to stick with it. Number 10. Oh, he's wrapped. He's got me wrapped. And he's sawing on it. And because of my wonderful trolling motor, I can't even get over there. <laughs> Guys, the trolling motor's broke, pretty much. I can't drive in a straight line with it. This is probably going to be our last catch for this challenge. And it's a decent one. Oh, yes, sir. Best one of the day on the dinghy so guys we got trolling motor issues we are going to end the challenge right there i can't drive in a straight line with it we're going to go get it fixed and it's going to mess up our timeline but that is a good way to end the challenge put it back i don't know if we'd have made it or not because that was only number 11 and we only had about 20 minutes to go, but as you can see, let's take a look at that dinger. These are the way to go in the spring. If you ever want to take your kids out or kids, if you're out there watching this video and you want to just go catch some fish, take a yum dinger, June bug color, rig it up. You can rig it up weightless too if you want to. Must add grip pin hook, 3 16 ounce weight, 17 pound mono. I hate quitting, but we had some technical difficulties. We could have had one of those photo finishes and got it right there at the end. Who knows, but we're gonna go fix this trolling motor, try to get back out here and catch some big ones. All right, guys, we're out here in the spring and that's typically not a time you'd see me throwing a shad pattern swim bait, but chase and i were out here fishing the same lake and we've noticed a lot of these fish that should be up in there spawning are chasing shad and chasing bait we'll see them you know a group of two or three of them come through chasing bait fish that we tied on he's got the gizzard shad and i've got the thread fin shad we've already started catching them on it so it's kind of strange that they're on a shad pattern swim bait when they should be spawning but it's always good to keep one of these in the boat and just for opportunity just like this Decent one. <laughs> Chunkster. First one on the live target shad. Ate it too. Look at that. Got it with both the treble and the top hook. That's what you call whoop, that's what you call sideways in the mouth right there. Alrighty, enjoyed it. There he is. Hold up. We got a double. <laughs> That's what I was telling you to hold oh, it for. That's all right. That's almost a double. Pitch it back in there. There's more in there. These aren't very big, but hey, we'll take schoolers. Fatties, because they eat good all year long. Not bad at all. Under it. Sorry, I got a fish. <laughs> I got a fish. <laughs> That's a good fish. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you boat flip this one. 
<laughs> Let's test those boat flipping skills. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna flip him? <laughs> he choked it, man. You can do it. Yeah, you got it. Reel up a little bit. Yeah, I'm telling you. Reel, reel your slack up. Get him going back and forth. And then when his momentum comes this way, flip him. Yeah. Now get him coming this way. I'll tell you when. Come on. Go. Now, now, now. There you go. You're gonna be a boat flipping master. Look at there. Chunk. Big fish. what you call choking it choke the gizzard chad good night. i gotta get that out of there <laughs> it was one hook at a time <laughs> oh here he is two of them throw back, right back in there throw right in there look at him he's he's with him right here You missed it. <laughs> Look at that coloration. Man, that's a pretty fish. Had a buddy with him down there. Chase, you should have been on it. <laughs> Alrighty. So guys, the way that it comes out of the box, it doesn't have this little bottom treble. But I had a number three little split ring and a number four mustad triple get grip hook. And that bottom hook is the one that's getting them. Oh, look here. I caught a shad on it. Let's see if I can ease it in. There you go. That's what we are matching the hatch right there. <laughs> here he is. Got him. Yeah, doubled, doubled up. up. Doubled up. <laughs> Come on there, buddy. At the same exact time, too. Mine choked it. Let's see what he's got. Dude, the gizzard shad just gets the bigger fish every time. Hey, yes, sir, practice that boat flip. <laughs> you get the, a little bit more line up. <laughs> you only got one hook in him. I don't know if I'd try it, but it's, it's on you. Yeah. There we go. Nice way to end the day right there on a double. The gizzard shad always gets the bigger ones, so go for the bigger ones if you're looking for big fish. Gizzard shad. But hey, both of them are fun. Look at the colors on that guy. Alright guys, we're about to head in. No better way to head in than on a double. Right. I enjoyed that. Shad pattern, even though it's springtime, we'll get the job done. <laughs> Yes, sir. Here you go.